2011, Southeast Asia experienced severe flooding that destroyed infrastructure, killed hundreds of lives, and damaged the economy. Earlier to the flooding, Thailand was seeing heavy rainfall anomalies throughout the year. High sea level pressure recorded by the Southern Oscillation Index was moderately positive, causing high monsoon rains. The unexpectedly high rainfall during the annual Southwest Monsoon and four large tropical rainstorms through June and October would result in severe flooding across the land. Thailand usually experiences flooding annually with its regional monsoons and tropical storms. Rainfall and flooding at this level, however, was unpredicted. Rainfall was 23% above normal in 2011, with the largest rainfall anomalies occurring in the south. 2,073 millimeters of rainfall in Bangkok and 1,330 millimeters in Chiang Mai. A significant amount of rainfall flowed as runoff through Bangkok from Chao Prayana River Basin, a main river basin in the area. Thailand, along with much of Southeast Asia, was heavily affected as farmland was wiped out and supply chains and manufacturing plants destroyed. Due to the flat topography of the land, flooding was widely spread out and drainage was slow. The 2011 Thailand floods resulted in massive payouts by the global insurance industry. The areas around large river systems were heavily urbanized which put them at large financial risk. Newly paved roads and water blocking infrastructure worsened the situation as the flood was unable to drain. Most of Thailand's revenue was built around the country's success in manufacturing, so after the flooding, Thailand's economy was crippled. 281 people were killed in Thailand and 200 more in Cambodia, while damages totaled to an estimated $15 billion or $19 billion adjusted for inflation. Thailand had little ability to react to their flooding crisis. They employed sandbags to stop overflowing water and boats to adapt to the flooded streets. Dams were pushed far above their safety limit, to the point that workers had to release water, worsening flooding, to prevent the dams from collapsing. Southeast Asian supply chains weren't able to keep up with the massive influx of people demanding essential goods, resulting in plenty of people going without clean food, water, and other necessities. Thailand, Malaysia, and other Southeast Asian countries were forced to rely on foreign aid from the U.S. Navy to minimize their damages. As a result of these damages making headlines across the world and with climate change increasing, it resulted in more severe weather and rainfall. And countries will have to prepare and put more investment into improving infrastructure durability. Experts predict from 30 years of historical data that similar proportion flooding events could occur once every 10 to 20 years, putting officials on high alert for dealing with a future crisis down the line. More flood resistant designs, better drainage systems, and stronger dams while taking into account the topography and infrastructure weaknesses will be key to preventing similar damages in the future.